In order to create a Casablanca lily, I need to create six petals. I rolled my gum paste through a pasta machine in order to get them a uniform thickness and then have cut them using a lily cutter. I store them until I need them underneath a cell flap so that they don't dry out. Once I have the petals cut out, I'm going to individually wire each of the petals. I take a wire and I'm going to dip it into my edible glue, but I brush off the excess. One thing that beginner sugar flower makers tend to do is to use too much glue, so we want to make sure that we don't have too much glue. We'll insert our wire into the length of our petal. I like to have my fingers on either side of the petal holding it so I can feel that it's directly in the center of my petal. I'm going to put that down. Now one of the features of a Casablanca lily is that the edges of the petals are very, very roughly and that look is achieved by using a ball tool. I'm going to hold the ball tool like a pencil and trace around the edge. Just go back and forth, back and forth. When I'm working with a ball tool, it is not an up and down stabbing motion. It is a back and forth motion that's going to create all of this ruffliness. The more pressure that I apply, the more roughly the petal edges will be. And I'll do that same technique on both sides of my petal and then you'll notice that I have a little ridge here. Obviously petals don't have ridges where it's thick in one part and then thin in another part. So I just want to go back and forth across that ridge and ease out so that it looks like a very natural progression from where it's thick to where it's thin. Another feature of Casablanca lily petals is that there's a line that's drawn straight down the center. So I'm going to take a wood tool that has slightly a bit of an edge to it and that will allow me to draw a line straight down. If you don't have a tool that looks like this, you can always use a toothpick in order to draw a nice straight line. And then we're going to dry this onto a flower former. My flower former looks like a half pipe and I just have it suspended over something so that the wire and the petal can hang off the edge. I'll fold that right over and that will give me the graceful look of a Casablanca lily petal. These petals, we need six of them in order to create one flower. These petals need to dry overnight before we're ready to assemble them.